Hey folks, welcome back to this channel. Today I want to show you how we can handle our custom error and convert them in a real and in an expected HTTP code for the, for the REST response. To do this, we will uh, see a simple function that, per, that allows us to remap our custom uh, exception in a, an HTTP code and response. So I don't want to spend time and now it's time to jump to the code. As we already seen in the previous video, now we have a problem when we have to return a 40 a not found error. So now uh, every uh, part of the of the API that mm, that should return a not found uh, response return an internal server error. So to do this, we have to handle how to uh, we have to say to fastify how to handle the not found exception. Okay. So to do this, fastify expose a method. So Basically, out of the box, uh, Fastify handle for you the, uh, the error. So if you send an error that it, or, it already know, it can send a status code and a message. But in this case, the not found exception is an, um, is a, an unknown error for it and return a, an internal server error. To do this, we have to, um, to set the error handler. The error handler is just a simple function, okay, that uh, help to fastify to handle the error that uh, it doesn't know, okay. And basically, you have to simple in you have uh, just to add the the function using the set error handler function. How to implement the error handler function? So the error handler function is just a function that accepts three parameters, the error, the request, and the reply. So what you can do here is this one. So if the error instance is of type not found exception, okay, we can check this. If the method is equal to delete, okay, we can return reply dot, um, reply dot code. Uh, 204 because in this case is uh, a no content but uh, the deleted is work okay as uh, we can return a not found with uh, the error inside of the not found exception in the other case the error is an expected is an unexpected error okay so what we can do is uh, using the logger we can uh, call the the function the the method error in the first part pass uh, some data to uh, log what what uh, happened in this case uh, we can uh, we can create an object with the request with the method the url the either the body the query and the parameters and then another object that contains the error and log it in your uh, logs and then return a reply with a code 500 and send the error.message. In this way, you can uh, handle your uh, known exception. For instance, if, if now I go back to my uh, postman and I call the get by post ID, the result now is a 404 status and not found response. Same is for the patch. If I try to patch a post that doesn't exist, the server return a not found error. And the same is for the delete. I try to delete the post with ID2. Now I receive a no content response as expected. And as you can see, it's really simple to and to create your, hand, your error handler and uh, inside of this function detect how to handle your custom exception. And in this way you can create your domain exception and handle it to map them into a real HTTP re response. Okay, 
uh, reach in a real HTTP response with the, 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 the correct status and the correct uh, message error. Okay. And that's it. Pretty simple. Okay, folks, as you can see, build a custom hard render is a really piece of cake in Fastify. You just need to create a function to handle your custom error and I would, uh, in this function you have to detect the error and map the error in the right HTTP code. And that's it. In this way you can map and convert your domain error inside of HTTP error. Pretty simple. In the next video we will see how we can uh, add a swagger inside of our Fastify application. Okay, that's all from this uh, content. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like it, please hit the like button below. And if you want to stay updated with my content, please subscribe to my channel. Until next time, happy coding and see you soon. Bye bye.